Alright guys, so let's continue with uh, this tutorial, which is going to be a part 2 and um, basically what we're going to do, we're going to add uh, some materials and also add uh, some detail as you can see, uh, the middle part is fine, it looks cool uh, but this is the part where it needs a bit of detail as you can see it looks kind of, uh, I don't know, look plain I guess uh, there's no detail to it and also I'll show you how to get, uh, I don't know, infinite looks every time you change uh, something you get infinite looks with ease you know you don't have to redo something or do some crazy uh, modeling alright so let's start by grouping the inside and the outside in one null object and let's rename this and call it 1 which is going to be part 1 which is uh, this is the first part also let me group the light I'll actually not keep them Okay, let's select. Uh, <clears throat> let's turn off uh, or shut down the inside part, and let's open the, the, this one, the outside. Just turn off the deformer, the gerbil, and uh, actually keep them uh, the symmetry. Be fine, I guess. All right, so <clears throat> we want to add detail to these uh, kind of triangle, this one. So let's select all of them right click extrude inner and we're just gonna do some extruding something something about here will be fine and now we need to select 2 by 2 like so and let's select the side alright and also let's do extrude inner like so now we can we might uh, <coughs> change this later on because uh, it really depends on how the girl will, will look at it so you know keep an eyes on that so let's turn on the girl and let's do a render actually let's do the turn on everything and as you can see kinda give it this look and have more detail more kind of, I don't know it's just I think it looks way better this is my opinion. Well, if you like, if you like the old look, you can just keep it on. It's fine. And uh, but yeah, this one looks pretty awesome. I like the details on it. All right, and maybe I'll add uh, something for here, or I guess we just keep it like this. Will be fine. Let's turn on the outside, uh, the inside. Sorry. And all right, so that looks good. Now let's add our last deformer again we're gonna use the piggle also so let's add it a child or biggle or piggle biggle I think I don't know whatever I can't spell it I give up I guess and let's recite the box so it fit our model alright so I'll go with something like this and this one let's keep it to 400 so it's gonna be the main deformation and let's give it some let's resize it like so alright that looks cool let's add the strength say to 80 and make sure you check for lead and the curvatures just increase it and now what we're gonna do is uh, increase the curvatures to 2400 now look stupid as fuck don't worry now rotate the, the deformer 90 degree and you can see what exactly happening by holding shift and rotating kinda snap to it <clears throat> and now we need to resize this deformer to our need to something something similar to this I don't know, it's really up to you, you know. You can have a play. Um, we can take down the strength a bit. Alright, now select the null object and rotate it also 90 degree. Like so. And now we should end up with something like this. And turn off uh, the deformer from the editor view, it's kind of distracting. Also, do the same thing the other ones the inside and the outside deformer 
just turn it off from the editor view. All right, so you should up, you should end up with something looks like that. As you can see, and now when I said uh, you can get infinite kind of looks by rotating the deformer to any angle, it gives you different looks. As you can see now, how it change the look of our shape. You can rotate it like this if you want to. You can like this. You can even rotate it to the other side. And get even different looks. So yeah, have a play with this. This is definitely gonna give you new looks every time. And just make sure that uh, the D cube, the form tag is set to zero. Just make sure of that. <clears throat> All right, so this looks awesome. Uh, we only need the middle part where it's gonna be the tax holder, the whatever you want it to be you know holding I guess you can you continue from there from here and add your own kind of signature detail to the model that's really up to you I mean, you don't want to really copy paste the tutorial but hey it's really up to you alright uh, I just need to play with this deformer a bit just to make sure that we get uh, the right shape <coughs> something like this will be fine I guess as you can see when I resize the <coughs> the deformer you see it even gives me new looks but you just want to make sure it doesn't go to the, to the place where it's just Alright, I guess it's fine like this, 1000. Alright, so, you know, have a play with this, see whatever fits your taste, I guess. 1000, I'll just keep it as 1000. That's true, 1400. Alright. But yeah, like I said, have a play with this. All right, now let's create the middle part, which is could be anything to be honest with you at this point. It could be anything. Uh, I'm basically I'm gonna just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna use the the inside and just make it editable. Sorry, let's put it back and let's make it editable. And just we're gonna resize it to fit uh, to fit the middle part, as you can see. Alright, and uh, you can create another rectangle tool and just uh, resize it. Create a sweepner and put both of the splines inside, like so, and you should end up with something like this. Now go to the, the inside and you can, uh, if you go to uniform, you can increase these uh, cuts and by adding gerbil. Here you go. If we add a gerbil to the sweepner, let's ch uncheck uh, generate gerbils, and you can see you can add additional cuts or just keep it default. I'll keep it, I uh, guess, just one, it'll be fine. I'll have enough detail. And now you can resize the, the shape of it, like so. We have more. Alright, that looks good. Maybe I'll just drag it a bit down. Somewhere about here. Alright. Now control C on the uh, copy the the inside the spline, control C, control V and just add the sweep extrude nerf, sorry. And that's it. From here, you can just let's resize it. 
so we size both of them at the same time and just make it kind of go inside alright now in here you can put your text your logo whatever you want and also I'm going to show you another way if you don't want to render uh, if you don't want to render your uh, text in here you can just you know add uh, a green t uh, color over here so this color will be fine and, and check specular for it you don't need specular and just add it to this part and in after effect we can key out this and replace it with anything we want so this is good thing you know so you don't have to render it again with different tags maybe if you want or something you can just do this in after effect all you have to do is just uh, key out this and replace it with anything you want videos uh, uh, what you call it uh, uh, maybe I don't know you can use it for montages for whatever you want you know you can put anything text anything you want logos alright so this is a good thing you know so we don't have to keep rendering and rendering we just we can just render this one time and then after effect we can just replace it, replace this with anything we want so yeah just keep in mind uh, an eye on that alright uh, maybe I'll resize the that's these splines so I just kinda make it cubic so we can have enough room over here to add additional uh, you know maybe logo, the logo is big or something like this you know you can add it over here alright uh, so this looks good let's call this the outside let's uh, actually group them and call it uh, the inside sorry we'll call it number two I guess because that's it we're done now for the materials you can add any material you want it's really up to you you know it's whatever fits your taste I can't tell you put this and it looks good but I'm just using my material pack uh, materials from my material pack if you're interested I'll leave a uh, link in the description for it alright so let's see whatever looks good so this is the outside let's do a render and the key of this uh, like looks uh, robotic looks it's just reflection nothing crazy to it. there's nothing crazy I don't know some magic uh, setting or something it's all about reflection alright let me just uh, change a bit of the color it's kind of dark you can't see anything alright let's do a render still a bit dark let's go to the specular just increase the specular a bit so we can see what tag is going on. Alright, looks fine. Let's do a, another render. You know, from here, it's all about uh, all about a matter of uh, tweaking and playing around with it. Alright, so I'm going to add the uh, main light uh, first I have two lights which is overhead softbox and regular softbox there's nothing crazy it's all the grayscale good light kit but additional light to just to light up the whole project the whole uh, model so I'm just gonna drag this to the back somewhere about here and take down the strength that's too much just keep it 30 and let's change the color a bit let's do a render kinda you can see what's going on now over here let's make this one 20% alright and we can go over here and add a reflection let me just set this to list let's get uh, the HDRI studio pack let's grab the studio uh, the HDR rig let's go to studios and we 
we can we can use one of these or you can use your own also this will work just gonna grab this one alright let's do a render now this is gonna add additional reflection for us but at the same time you know you can see here you can see how it added the reflection at the same time it kind of light up the whole thing I kind of took uh, took off the, the black color so you know be careful of the, uh, the HDR that you use it can kill the project alright so let's rotate it let's get different angles or you can maybe if you don't want them you can add your own HDI uh, for example uh, say for example you can create uh, a, uh, I mean uh, planes just drag them up and for example you can take this one just moving the top of you and drag this one safer somewhere about here and control C control V and just drag this one to the other side and select both of them right click cinema 4D tags and we want target and you can insert a null object select both of the target object uh, tag and just add the null object basically they're gonna be facing this null object no matter where it goes and it's in the middle so it's kinda facing the what do you call it the model <coughs> let's create a new material double click and check luminous and check a specular and add it to the planes like so you can do a render and kind of add additional reflection for via the sides as you can see and over here just to see if there's something going on over here or if you don't like this kind of uh, color you can always change the material to whatever you want see this one also works fine you see the reflection you see everything and uh, we can use this one, which is, I think it's a bit dark for this one. But it's 100% reflective, that's why you can see the reflection. So, you know, it's all about uh, taste, that's why uh, I didn't show you how to create materials, because it's all about, you know, whatever fits your taste. This one looks pretty cool, so I'll go with this one. And for the inside part, for the inside, I think I'm going to add. Uh, this one and for the outside I'll add the lighter one and for the main object I'll also add the, the black material this one and the same thing oh the, the green one we keep it the same we just use the green one so in the end you should get this kind of uh, look this kind of model and shape alright so reflection looks fine uh, the model is fine now we can just start by animating this which is going to be basic animation nothing crazy don't expect that we're going to do a transformation or something <laughs> anyway let's uh, create a camera first and just zero out everything for the camera position rotation everything zero out every, the whole thing so apply alright so let's leave the camera for now select all of your lights and just group them inside an all object and let's call it light uh, it's just to keep organized of everything this one the camera it's fine keep it the same alright uh, let's start animating this Let's go to the first part and let's go to the gerbil. Oh, for the inside actually first. Let's start with the inside. And let's close it, I guess. And you can see it's just 
it looks uh, looks pretty fine with that. Let's uh, select the outside, which is the gerbil, and also close it. Then you can see it close 100%. Fine. Alright, as you can see. And make sure it doesn't overlap it. This, this, it's not going to give it a good look if it's overlapping. Alright, so that looks fine. Let's add a keyframe for the inside. Add, I mean, sorry, the outside. Move to 25 uh, frame or 30 frame if you want, if you want the whole second for this to open. And just open it like so. Uh, also now add a keyframe let's take a look alright that looks good also select the inside and go to frame say 10 add a keyframe move to frame 25 and just open it I guess like so somewhere about here and add a keyframe now if we took a look at the whole animation as you can see it just opens and now I want to I want to first uh, the first one to be complete open the, the outside part then the inside part will follow it so let's move these keyframes uh, somewhere about here maybe 30 let's take a look yep that looks that looks way better Let's take this a bit to the front. Yeah, that looks fine. Now it's kind of like a robotic door opening. Let's do a render. So this is the first shape that you're gonna get. Also, if you can't see the the bottom part, you can just uh, create. This is just seriously, it's bugging me. Control C for the overhead softbox. Control C, Control V. Let's put it in that put it right here and let's drag it down somewhere about here and rotate it 90 degree like so. And it's just bugging me because it's it doesn't have lights, reflection, anything. That's why it's bugging me. Let's go inside the camera and zoom out. Somewhere just let's take a look at this render now. See now it's like reflective as hell. So, you know, be careful. I'm just doing this so we can see what the heck's going on. Alright, so let's go for the camera to be somewhere about here. Close shot. And we're going to add the keyframe. Move to frame 90. And just zoom out to whatever you want, you know. Maybe one over here. Add the keyframe. Go to the first. Go to zero in the timeline. Select the camera coordinates. Did we add for the camera? I think we didn't add the keyframe for the camera. All right, I guess let's do it again. Keyframe over here. Move to frame 90. Zoom out. Somewhere about here will be fine. Go back to zero. And now let's play with the banking. Let's keep it to about 50. Add the keyframe. Now this is the the animation you should get somewhere about here, but it's kind of start slow, so kind of maybe drag these keyframes and select the first keyframe and change it to linear. Select these keyframes with frame sixty. Another look, one, two, zoom out. All right, that looks good. So this is basic, the basic animation of this. You can create a thousand camera if you want. Uh, I don't know. You want a close shot. That's really up to you. And these planes, just right click Cinema 4D tags and add a composite tag. And make sure you check scene by camera. 
so if you're gonna do some kind of rotation or something it's not gonna be seen by camera so if I render it's not there alright so we done from camera animation material uh, I guess we get to go for the render setting now alright so let's go to output now for the render you can select whatever render setting you want that's really up to you uh, I already rendered the uh, Cinema 4 Detots intro, so this is what I'm going to use for After Effect. And yeah, so you can use whatever HD 720, uh, or you can use Full HD 1080p. And uh, make sure you set to all frame, so I'll render the whole thing. Also, for the multi pass, we're going to use some multi pass, so make sure you check this and go to multi pass reflection. This is the first one and uh, you want to add uh, material specular which is this one and you want the regular specular and also if you're gonna add shadows you can check the shadow and if you have some kind of glow material or something glowing make sure you check uh, post effect so you can add additional glow lesser glow and after effect and all the same thing for these Alright, and the render pretty quick. Don't think it's gonna take longer time or something. It's just render quick, to be honest. Uh, now you can go to save and save your images. This is gonna be the regular images, not the passes. And make sure you check alpha channel. And for the multi pass, also save it somewhere you want, whatever you want, save it. And that's it. We're good to go. Don't check the straight alpha for the multi pass. It's fine. Just keep it the same. Just save it. And for the regular images check alpha channel and save it and I guess for the entire lighting now because we have the whole project is reflection basically reflection all the way make sure you set this to best and either 1 by 4 or 2 by 4 don't go less than this all you're gonna get some crazy ass reflection jiggery like it it's not gonna look good it's gonna the render time gonna increase but this is the way you can get a clean kind of reflection so I'm just uh, warning you up about this and to be honest with you adding shadow uh, shadows at this point is useless first of all it's a black scene with reflection only there is nothing it's not like white scene and it's not floor or something so I don't know why you want to add reflection uh, what you call it shadows even in my project I didn't add shadows so but hey if you want you can add shadows I'm just gonna tick them off you can see it render faster even and it looks the same though you know it looks kinda the same I don't see any difference so here we have the project if you don't like uh, the reflection if you don't want your project to be reflective like this you can add a bit of uh, blurness to the material and this can fix it and the reflection you can add some blurness but this also increases the render time and if you added less reflection I don't know if it's gonna look good or not but it's really up to you alright uh, change the timeline to 200 200 frame or you can just keep it as I guess uh, 100 will be fine this is if you only want if you're gonna keep it to 100 this is only if you want the end of your animation to be like this so it doesn't close nothing it's just gonna stay like this now if you want to close it or something you want to increase it to 250 or 200 frame that's really up to you when you want the the model to close so maybe say it's gonna stay like this for 120 frame or 140 and then after 140 it's gonna everything gonna close like the way we uh, animate it opening it's gonna close that's really up to you I'll leave this you know for you to do that it's really easy and uh, again make sure the material the green material have no specular nothing only color and to be green this kind of green will be fine like so maybe like this will be fine also as long as it's a green color we can work out with this in after effect anyway if you have any question about this just leave a comment and uh, I'll let my brother to reply to you or uh, 
Jaltas can reply to you. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this part and uh, again if you have any question just leave a comment and someone will help you in the end. Uh, also if you guys uh, want the project file let me know. I'll be, you know, because I'm, I'm not using this anyway. It's not like I'm using it for a project or something. So if you want the project, by, uh, project files let me know also. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope you liked it and uh, I'll see you in the next uh, part, which is the final part. That's it. Click render right now. Peace.